Brand new for 2018, Connor Industries, the makers of Stanley Boats, are introducing the Lighthouse line. And this right here, the 264RD, is one of the prototypes. But other than a couple little tweaks, this is what you're going to see available as of September 2017. It has all that rugged Stanley DNA, but a little more refined when you get on board. From the 300 horsepower Yamaha forward, this is a heavy duty, heavy fun, but high style aluminum boat. The aft cockpit is wide open and great for transporting gear to an island cottage or for fishing. And there's rod storage on both sides. At the transom, there's a large live well and a smaller one, great as a bait well, below with storage and a hose. And in the center is a fold out but sturdy bench seat. Fold down cleats are found around the lighthouse as are rod holders around the aft cockpit. Great for adding things like a bait prep table. The helm is well appointed but left open for customization for whatever electronics you prefer. And the captain and passenger chairs are bolstered and adjustable and raised to offer great sight lines. with rear-facing seats immediately behind. Within the seat bases are drawers that can only be described as gigantic. And in the floor, you'll find a good-sized, deep compartment. The 264RD has no hardtop, but the bimini is sturdy and gives great shade to the four permanent seats. And this is a cuddy cabin, and down below you'll find a small berth with comfy bench seating and a large head compartment. A fold down step in the aft cockpit beside that rod storage gives you a boost up to the walk around, which isn't massive, but for a 26 foot boat with a beam of just nine and a half feet, it's a very good size. And up at the bow, you'll find a large anchor locker when you want to turn off the key. But keys on and throttle down, this is a lot of fun and rides very light for a 5,000 pound boat. When going full lock on the wheel at speed, 264RD had an impressive bite without an overwhelming bank, which is always nice. On our test day on Georgian Bay, not far from where this boat was made, the water was surprisingly calm. So we did a few zigzags through our camera boat wake, hitting it at various angles. Even with all those drawers and fold down bench seat, as I slammed through the wake, it was quiet, indicative of a solid build. If I were to say there's one complaint of any sort while driving this is, because of this rigid design, you have to have these supports here between the windshields. And so there's a little bit of a blind spot of, you know, that couple inches, which might bother you when you're coming into the dock, but you get used to it. The benefit though, is it's so nice and high up that it really protects you from the wind and the breeze. And early late season on big water like Georgian Bay, game changer. And with a top speed of 52 to 53 miles per hour, you'll definitely want that protection.